Good morning, folks. Welcome to the last day of the year. We're going to take a peek at the sun, name the top story of 2022, and take a look at Earth's rotation speed as well. Crackling active regions seen here. In terms of space weather, we had more fast solar wind at Earth the last day, leading to more low-level geomagnetic disruptions, but we also had more solar flares. This time, the Earth-facing quiet broke, and the flares occurred at the sunspots on the north near central heliographic longitudes. There definitely appeared to be a CME released, as you can see here in 193 angstroms. Also can see the incoming coronal hole. SOHO coronagraphs are unhelpful for this event, but NASA's Enlil spiral suggests a small to moderate CME has been launched towards Earth. This suggests impact to the planet around January 2nd and could produce more geomagnetic storm activity, although not at scary levels. We will have eyes open for more. A couple days ago, we went over our Nova Astronomy upheaval topic. There have been several things we said in the last couple years that turns out to be true. From not needing a binary to Nova to there being many different kinds of stellar outbursts, and dozens of studies have ended up confirming those and changing Nova science more in the last three years than in decades of astronomy before. But none of those discoveries tops how observers were called crazy for our micro-nova discussions. Of course, just ask any astronomer. There's no such thing as micro-nova. And then, this year's top story. After years of being called insane and pseudoscientific for the micro-nova claims, they finally officially named them in the journals. Even though this level of blast had actually been seen before several times, now they officially get their appropriate designation. The discovery of micro-nova events was this year's top story. And combined with previous studies on how you don't need a binary, just accumulated material in the corona and a magnetic kick, we know this can apply to the sun as well. Solar micronova due within 20 to 25 years. Taking a quick peek here at Earth's rotation speed numbers, today we cap off the fastest year on record. Back in 2020, we broke the fastest day 28 times and had the fastest year overall in terms of 365 rotations. Broke that again in 2021, and this year, we broke the fastest single day once again and the fastest year once again. We are predicted to see both those records fall again next year as well, based on the models. And don't forget, Cat's children's book reading is today if you're in the Colorado Springs area. Our Cheyenne, Wyoming event is January 7th, and you can learn more about why Earth is speeding up its rotation and more on the coming solar micronova with our books and playlists linked below the video. Also get your tickets to those events there as well. We greatly appreciate your support. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.